Welcome to Initiate Swarm Protocol. I am Doomsayer. I'm Darth Wing Amuck. And what are we talking about today? Emperor box set, fire and demise into the infinity of darkness. Let's start the show. For anybody who is into the metal scene like Darth and I, there is a box set from Emperor. And Darth, you went out, you bought it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, what you have laid out, I can't wait to, for you to get into this. So <laughs> go for it, man. It's a 14 tape, tape box set of everything officially released by Emperor. Okay. With some collectibles, but I figure we start off with the box. Mm-hmm. You can check out the box. Box is very cool looking. Got some pictures on there. On the back is the crest, the emperor crest. Oh hell yeah! Oh my. Then of course the the shield E. I guess you can call that. Damn. Then it came with uh seven posters. Uh, four patches with the, the Emperor crest. Of course, like a Dragon Hydra looking thing. Uh, and of course, the Rider. The Emperor Rider. That's let me, like their let me cut you off there. Mark. Yeah. Were you what? I don't remember because you and I, we officially met in junior high school. Did you have the jean jacket with all the patches all over it? Like no, I, I did? I never had patches, no. Really? No. Never oh, my had. God. I had the jean jacket with the, the Megadeth. Did you? Anthrax, Metallica. Yeah, I'm not a patch guy. Holy, oh, my yeah. God. So the patches, they'll just stay. Patches. Oh, I wouldn't put them anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. Then it came a 300-page book, hardback book. And the book looks really nice. Rare photos, interviews of their whole entire career from before they were emperor. They were embryonic. Which I kind of knew that. I don't think they released anything officially, but then they moved to a Thou Shalt Suffer. Okay. Which they released one album, which turned into an ambient project then. Ishan uh, turned it into an ambient thing. Uh, but like rare photos spanning the whole career. And in the back of the book, there's an, I guess they played a live show last year and they got everybody, like Faust came out and played the drums. The ori- yeah, the, oh, yeah. The original drummer, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mortis came out to play bass, I guess, because he played on the first <laughs> album. But that that's a cool Holy picture. Sh- that's Mortis. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's an awesome. I'll make sure to have that up on That's the like the best picture in the book. It, yeah. And there's a, yeah, there's a bunch of cool pictures, rare. And then a, a certificate signed by everyone, the main members of Emperor, Samoth, Ishan, Trim. Hand numbered out of a thousand. This is only limited to a thousand copies. Mine's eight sixteen. The first hundred, I think, yeah, the first hundred and eleven came with a shirt. I didn't get the shirt, but that's cool. Whatever. Yeah. I got this. This is cool enough. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, big time. But back in two thousand one, I went. To, I, I met Ishan, uh, Samoth, and Trim when they played with Zyklon. Mm-hmm. And this was like right after Emperor broke up. We went down to see uh, Zyklon, Morbid Angel. Deicide and exhumed. And here we're standing out back. Samoth comes out, get his autograph. He goes wandering away. And uh, Trim comes out. And I ask him, I'm, well, I'm getting his autograph. I'm like, yeah, why'd Emperor break up? Or disband. I think I said disband. And he just said, because we took it as far as we could take it, still being Emperor. 
because it was it was cha- his hand was changing it, you know. Uh, and then he uh, he asked me, he's like, "Has anybody seen Samoth?" And we were like, "Yeah." He walked up the alley with some girl, and he got this look on his face, like a like he was so <laughs> disappointed. It was it, it was kind of funny. I met Samoth, uh, not to cut you off, but I met Samoth two thousand and eight at Maryland Death Fest when Zyklon was there. And that dude was to me gigantic. Oh, he's I mean, tall. Holy shit. Yeah, he's he's tall. very tall. And Trim was like my size armor. He was like average. I was like, And oh he looked my like he was God. fifteen years old. But it it was awesome. That. It um was a candlelight uh records, which I think is it that one of their offices might be in Plymouth meeting still or, or something like that, but they had two record uh, people there and you know, there was kind of like a meet or greet or something like that. But a buddy of ours, a good friend of ours, I was with him and that was, that was the highlight. That was definitely the highlight. Yeah. I loved emperor loved Zyklon. And now with, I have the Mortis book and he signed that. So I almost have every other than Faust. I have like almost every member of Emperor. Now, why why did autograph. Faust uh, quit again? That was when he went to jail. Okay, okay, yeah. and, and that was a part of. If anybody ever read the book, I read. I'm going to say probably about three quarters of it. You read the whole entire thing of uh, Lords of Chaos. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, if you definitely want some. Um, Daytime drama and that stuff. That book is very, very good for for the drama that was going yeah. on. A little too much drama. <laughs> the Choosing Death book about death metal that had no drama in it. None. That was just straight death metal. Yeah. But then getting uh, to the tapes, it has everything official: Wrath of the Tyrant, a rehearsal from '92, uh, the self-titled Emperor uh, in the Night Side Eclipse, some. Studio tapes, uh, As the Shadows Rise, the uh, Reverence EP, Anthems to the Welkin at Dusk, Nine Equilibrium, the Split with Thorns, Imperial Live Ceremony, Prometheus, the Discipline of Fire and Demise, uh, Live at Wacken Open Air 06, and Live Inferno. But the thing, it's been a long time since I bought a tape. I'm going to say about 28 years I forgot how small tapes were. <laughs> like, it's kind of neat that it's on tape because you forget. But like, look at look at the cover. Oh, I know. Of, and then you have in the night side eclipse on CD. Remember when you switched over from tapes to CDs? The covers got so much bigger, and it's like there's so much more going on on to it. Yeah, the covers. That's what but I was going about to say. It's literally half of that, which is cool. And I had to pull out Night Side because that's probably one of my favorite albums. Well, you you also remember when when you got the tapes, a lot of the tapes, and they had like the extra cover that came inside right here to give you more of what the the cover the the front cover was. There were some tapes that had that extra flap right there, but I know exactly what you're talking about because if you actually look down here, you don't see you don't see the whole castle, yeah. On that, and I'll make sure to put you know pictures up of it and that stuff. But yeah, it's it's. I always like that cover because, of course, it has the rider up in the top corner. Mm-hmm. But then on the CD, if you look at the door to the castle, there's like a little bat thing. Yeah. If you look at the back cover of the CD, it's that door. Oh no, kidding! Yeah, that's that was always kind of like a little hidden thing. And- that was always cool. Here's a, here's another thing too. Don't you have the picture disc of this too of yeah. the rider and that stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. And then the rider was that was another um, album cover. What was it not? What? Did, yeah. What somebody did, else used that, didn't they? Yeah, I thought. Or it was another emperor. It was the self titled. Yeah, yeah, that one right there. Yeah. That one right there. Okay. And it's cool. The tapes kind of the color kind of coincide with the color, like night sides blue. Uh, reverence is like a clear blue. That's kind of that's very cool looking, like a clear blue. Oh my god! Yo, that is awesome. anthems is it green. Yeah, and they all coincide. Like yeah, all different colors. Oh, then there was a poster flag. 
of like a dragon, which was, I forget, it might have been on the inside cover of As the Shadows Rise. I could be wrong on that. But it's definitely a picture people have seen before. And then lastly, at the bottom of the box, it came with a metal emperor pin of the Shield E. Yeah. I'm beyond impressed what what they got. And for this to be tapes, not CDs, but tapes. <clears throat> this is the one thing that I think a lot of people, um, they, they love the whole digital thing and that stuff. This is the reason why I will always stay physical is because of this stuff. Yeah, the physical. I mean... Neat. You can't get this in digital. Yeah, how how can you actually sit there, take a, a CD, the CD booklet out, look at the lyrics, look at the artwork? You can't see that. You you can page through it on your phone, but you can't physically touch it. That's yeah. why I like about this stuff. And lastly, this wasn't in the box set, but the only Emperor tape I ever owned was the self titled tape, and then I switched to c- CDs mm-hmm. in like ninety four. But even my Emperor, the self-titled one, it had like a reddish cover. And as you can see, this is like a normal, you know. Yeah. It's like a normal black. cover. Well, here I brought my CD, and this oh, is an man. original CD from like 94. And it has a red cover. And I remember years ago, I showed that to someone. They said they never seen that before. So if anybody out there knows what this is, if this is like a rare thing or a promo copy or, or a misprint, with the color or something. That's not a split or something like yeah, that. Yeah, this is the split with uh, Enslaved. Oh, it is? Yeah, the Horde Danes Land. Yeah. Oosh. Which eventually they re-released with just the Emperor okay. side. Yeah, but yeah, just a little, just brought that along the show. Does yours look like that? Do you have that on CD? I do not have that on CD. At all? You just no. don't have the red one? Okay. Mm, I don't have the uh, split with... Uh, with enslaved. Oh yeah, that's essential. You got to get that. I do not have that. See, the early emperor. That's the stuff I love. I mean, anthems is like a great album too. I recent listened to recently, but the the self titled, uh, I guess as the shadows rise and nightside. They're like, see, I was they're I was like classic. They're like which are your top? Your they're top right there. Ones. Okay, and then of course the reference EP. I got I got an original of that. Yeah, I guess I guess the yeah that about does it for the box set then. Um I I'm way beyond impressed. Uh let me ask you this before we end this. Yeah. How much did it cost you and where did you get it from? I got it from Hell's Headbangers, which I've dealt with before ordering CDs. Uh very cool company. Very quick. Sometimes they send you a free C D too if you order enough. Oh really? Yeah, you have no choice in what it is. But they just send, send you something. Yeah, so cool company, definitely a cool company. But the box set was two hundred and sixty, twenty bucks shipping. But okay. I figure, yeah, you already spent two hundred sixty dollars on tapes. Twenty bucks isn't going to hurt anything. Fourteen tapes, a poster, four Six posters, patches, seven posters, seven posters, a hardback. You got four four patches, and one of them is is. The rider, which is a big patch. Yeah, that would take up a back of a jacket. Yeah. The poster flag, the pin, and the certificate. Certificate with... Hand numbered, signed. Yes, by Samoth, Ishan, and Trim. Yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Can't. Can't go wrong. If anybody would actually buy this, please, don't open the tapes. Just, Just... Buy the CD or something. Just don't open the tapes. They're too valuable. And when... Like I said, I mean, I'm going to have pictures and everything of all this. The tapes are unbelievable. I mean, that's anthems, right? And that's that's non equilibrium. Oh, non equilibrium. Yeah. And that's like a like a gold. gold gold. That's cool. I didn't even notice that for the past week. I I got to make sure mm. I have all this stuff. But yeah, um, I'm going to be using the credit card later on. So I think I, I hope I have enough money on the credit card. I hope, but. Yeah, that's going to that's going to do it for us. That about does it for this show. I'm Doomsayer. I'm Darth. Thanks for watching. See you next time.